Good morning. As I came out of meditation this morning, I thought the title was going to be My Cup Runs Over or something along that line. Because indeed, many titles were coming to me as I was concluding the meditation. And I didn't know which one I was going to take. That was the one that I was leaning towards before I came to the computer. But through the day yesterday, uh, at, we had a meditation at 3 o'clock Eastern Time where people connected around the world to visualize a better world. And, and there were just so many little things that, that pieced together yesterday to make, make it an extraordinary day for me. And I indeed have felt that my cup is running over. I, I mean, I feel so much joy, even amidst all of the legal wrangling and stuff like that that's going on in my personal life. The, the joy and the sense of expectation overshadows all of the negative influences, though I still feel the negative influences and I have moments, but that's not the overwhelming mood or emotion that I'm feeling these days. Last Friday was probably the, the valley or the or the the depth of the thing that I've felt since this thing happened almost two weeks ago now when they bought my house for a hundred dollars. In any case, I came to the computer and an email on my on not one of my primary my primary email address is Paradox Man. But on one of my, I have actually six email addresses that I use fairly regularly, one that I hardly ever use, and that's my Hotmail account. But anyway, uh, the one, one thing just seemed to catch my eye, and I was directed to open it, and it's the only email that I opened this morning so far since I came to the computer. And that's where I derive the new title, that I said, oh, that's it. That's what I'm supposed to talk about today. So the title that I selected from, from that email is 2012, Something Extraordinary is About to Happen. And the little blurb is not even one that I wrote. I'm actually doing it right from the email. According to businessinsider.com, which is proving itself to be a very reliable source of information for our changing times is reporting that WikiLeaks has reported that a mystery press conference will be held on Monday, February 27th, that's today, 2012, at 12 noon at the Frontline Club in Paddington, London, England. According to WikiLeaks, over 25 media organizations have been working in silence for months in preparation for tomorrow's press conference. WikiLeaks suggests that everyone interested should follow the WikiLeaks Twitter feed closely as extraordinary news should break sometime in the next 96 hours. Hmm. And then I'll read one more uh paragraph. There's only two paragraphs in the whole thing. Uh, the other paragraph is WikiLeaks is an international online self-described not-for-profit organization that publishes submissions of private, secret, and classified media from anonymous news sources, news leaks, and whistleblowers. They have released a number of significant document, documents which have become front-page news items. Now something extraordinary is about to be released and 25 media organizations are preparing for it. This is a confirmation for me of, of what I've been feeling lately. I've been feeling like, like we're on the edge, on the precipice of something really big hitting the fan <laughs> and breaking the, the log jam of negativity 
that is tr being that has been being produced for a long time by our mainstream media and by our politicians and and the so-called powers that would like to be and continue to be but which are running out of steam whose house of cards is collapsing i know that they cannot hold up the charade very much longer that it's it's like a cosmic global chess game as i've said numerous times as they keep maneuvering for for position so that they can take back control that they that they realize is ebbing from their slipping through their fingertips it's just it's just not being able to be grasped by the by the power elite they've yes they've created the financial the financial meltdown if you will around the world they thought that would be a good thing and they could manipulate it into something that would be to their advantage but contrary to their best laid plans and their greatest wishes the people have awakened much faster than they thought were possible and people are standing together and let me tell you something folks this is going to be an amazing spring as the as the weather warms up in the colder climes around the world and people are going to start coming out into the streets and I see celebrations boy do I see celebrations coming even before summer gets here this year there's going to be such massive celebrations as those that continue to resist are either arrested or all of a sudden realize hey I better get in line with what's happening and stop trying to make the other thing happen I better get on timeline one because timeline two is falling through our fingers it's falling out of our reach it's being pulled away from us I don't know how many of you believe in miracles a lot of people don't but I consider what's happening to be a cosmic intervention or a divine intervention I consider it to be nothing short of miraculous that we're able to move from a prison planet to a planet of great celebration and we're going to be doing it in a matter of a relative short time from the from the awakenings that began to stir at the beginning of 2011 in Egypt it began and yes the elite were manipulating some of that the manipu they were manipulating some of the uh, unrest in the in the near east and in, in northern africa and even southern europe they, this was this was a manipulated event they were trying to use their problem reaction solution uh, game that they've been doing for a long time but something along the way shifted for for them and for for all of us as people weren't falling for the manipulation the occupy movement was in many in many cities and in many cases pushing out the interlopers that were trying to to steer in a certain direction and and, and we even have some of them in the in the local groups here i mean there's seems to be one individual especially who is just a naysayer to all of the all of the things that are broken in the system that that he thinks well there's got to be more to it than that including including and especially my situation because there's an occupy movement uh taking place here right here in my locale by occupy melbourne and maybe some of the people from occupy Space Coast will also join, although that's the one where there seems to be some dissension. But they're going to be picketing the the sheriff's department on this Friday, uh, in in one of the offices of the sheriff. It won't be the one where the sheriff is at. He may not see it, but surely his uh, his team will will report back to them, and hopefully there will be some media coverage. I really don't know. I don't even know if I will be able to be there at that time. Although I'd certainly like to be able to be there. So far, I haven't left my house. For, I mean, most days I don't go outside of the house except to the mailbox on days that uh, on days that there's mail, or maybe to go talk to my next door neighbor, one of my next door neighbors, or just to go stand outside for a while. But most of the time, when I go outside, it's to the atrium, which is in the middle of my house, which is open to the sky, all except screened in, and that's pretty much all I've been doing I've not gone to any meetings and I missed the whole entire workshop this past weekend although my my heart was there especially Saturday I mean I I could imagine things that were going on and Margie graced me with a telephone call on her way to the 
on her way back to the workshop yesterday morning before she arrived as she was driving in her car and gave me a little bit of an update on some of the things that's got, that are going on that she could report. But anyway, uh, there's just been, in spite of the fact that I'm almost make, making myself a prisoner in my own house <laughs> because of the concern that, that somebody might come and change the locks on my house and, 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 and keep me out of my own, my own property uh, when I'm not here. So I, I maintain possession almost 24-7. But in spite of all of that, Spirit has been just filling my heart with greater and greater joy and, and love and a, a sense of connection with so many people around the world. The love that has been poured out to me through this time when I asked for help in raising money to take the, this whole thing to another level, I mean, the help that was poured out is unbelievable. And I've been blessed to be able to actually give back to some people that I know that have needs. So I've, I've kept it flowing. I've not, not just hoarded what's come in. I've been able to, to give generously to, to some other people in my, in my life and, and bless them as you, my friends, have blessed me. And that's why my cup runs over. Because I'm not just receiving, but I'm giving. And it's been so hard for me to receive over the years. It's been so hard for me to even to ask and say, I need help. But there's been people that have called me locally that have said, what can I do to help you, Ron? Can I go to the store and get something for you? Can I bring you some food? Can I, you know, what do you need? Tell me what you need. People that I, some of people that I wouldn't even expect are calling me to help, to offer help. And that's why, as I said, I started coming to the, to the computer this morning with the idea that my cup runs over because indeed it does run over and then I get this wonderful headline I I just have a sense that something huge huge is going to come before the end of February which is only two more days maybe they'll announce it publicly in the mainstream media on leap year day what a day it only comes once every four years I wonder how many birthdays I'm going to have on that day. I mean, yesterday, the last, I mean, I seem to be getting a lot of birthdays and I try to send a personal greeting uh, these days to everyone. Actually, I think this whole year and into the last, the end of last year, I began just greeting every one of my friends with a, with a special birthday greeting. And sometimes there's 11 or 12 people that have birthdays on the same day. I wonder how many will have their birthday on February 29th, where they're only one quarter as old as, as, uh, as the rest of us would be that were born in that year. <laughs> but anyway, I just, I just have the overall sense of good coming, really powerful, good stuff. And I want to encourage you not to get caught up in the fear. It's okay to feel it. I feel it too. But don't get caught up. Don't, don't dwell there. Let your heart and your mind open and your eyes, the eyes of your heart, the ears of your heart, so that you can see and hear things that bolster you, that edify you and build you up inside, so that you can maintain a stance of joy and love, even when the media and the powers that used to be are trying to paint an ominous picture of collapse. What's actually happening is the rebirth of a new world, a new humanity. And we're witnesses. We're, we have front row seats, folks. So I encourage you with all of my heart to keep looking within and looking up because indeed something extraordinary is about to happen and the dominoes will continue to fall until we live in a world that is a 24-7 celebration for a period of time as we party in the streets for our liberation and for the freedom of humanity. May you be blessed. Namaste.